Welcome to the devotional moment from St. Matthew Lutheran Church and Early Childhood Center in Hawthorne Woods, Illinois. I'm Pastor Ed Blonsky. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Hebrews 13, 8. Love your sons so that they don't have to cross time and space or go to Iowa to tell you they love you. Recently, my sons and I watched the movie Field of Dreams. It is a story about baseball and how the game brought together a father and a son when they had been separated by ideology, differences, age, and even death itself. Of all the messages in the movie, the one that really brings tears to my eyes is the power of having a catch with dad. Can baseball really bring people together? Well, the evidence points in both directions, I suppose. Boston Red Sox fans and Chicago Cub fans have been brought together because, well, misery loves company. But if you're a Cubs fan named Steve Bartman, baseball hasn't brought you together with any other Cub fan. Yet, I hope it is true that what Phil said in the movie City Slickers, when my father and I couldn't communicate about anything, the one thing we could talk about was baseball. Baseball is seen by some as a powerful bridge across the generational gap. But I can do baseball one better. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know what some of you are thinking. Another religious fanatic. Okay, think what you must, but stay with me a little longer. Baseball, as a fundamental concept, hasn't really changed since its inception sometime in the 19th century. And I want to get into a debate about the artificial grass, the lights, and the designated hitter. Jesus Christ doesn't change either. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. The same Christ that transformed St. Paul, Thomas Aquinas, Martin Luther, Billy Graham, and you is the Lord of the universe. Jesus Christ is the one constant in the entire universe in spite of what Terence Mann says in Field of Dreams. If you are a father who laments losing his son to ideology or just plain age, Jesus Christ can and does want to bring you together. If you are a son who feels that you've gone so far you don't know how to go home again, Jesus Christ is your answer as well. How is this done? Excellent question. And I don't have the detailed answer for you, I'm sorry. But I continue to work on how to help dads and sons and moms and daughters too seek Jesus Christ to heal their wounds and bring them together. I know that Christ is the answer. He has been the answer in my life and many other lives that I know. And there's nothing wrong with baseball. Many times Christ will use baseball as his bridge, especially for fathers and sons. But don't confuse the bridge for the bridge builder. It is Christ and his saving death and resurrection for you that binds the brokenhearted together. He brings fathers and sons back together again. He restores broken homes. He holds cracked relationships together. You haven't run so far that you can't go home again. Christ is with you, and he will bring your heart back home. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for Jesus, the bridge builder. Sometimes, Lord, our lives are so fractured. Our relationships are so broken. And we want to reestablish them. We want to bring them back together. Send Jesus into our lives and into the lives of those that we love and are broken from, that he may bring us back together by forgiving our sins and showering us with his love and his blessings as only he can. Thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining me for today's devotional moment from St. Matthew Lutheran Church in our Early Childhood Center. I'm Pastor Ed Blonsky. God's richest blessings to you. And join me again next time.